Time to take you through the grid for DD2 and DD2 Masters, the pre-final. And Nicola Guillaume will start from pole position. Sam Knofius will be alongside on the front row. It's very, very close between them. Less than three one-hundredths of a second in timed qualifying this morning. Imke Arts will start from the inside of row number two uh, with Axel Hus alongside for close company. Bas van Vlimmeren took pole in DD2 Masters time qualifying this morning and starts from the inside of row number three. We'll be joined by the 495 of Rick van der Straat. Uh, row four, it's an all DD2 Masters affair with Niels Burler in the 522 and Christoph Adams in the triple five alongside. Rounding out the top ten, it's uh, Brett Odders in the 410 with the 554 of Wim Hulo rounding out the top ten. Dominic Ummels in the 577 and Mark van der Kamp in the number 474 round out row six with Derek van Kurt in the number 416. And Moritz Knopfius, uh, Knopfius in the 574 rounding out row seven with Jesse Spans, Douglas Knoll and Don van Wirt rounding out the 17-strong grid in this pre-final, which will last over 10 minutes plus an additional lap. Red lights on the gantry, revs rise, lights are on. That is a full start. So they are going to go round for another tour again. Officials just making sure that drivers are aware. So red lights reignited on the starting gantry ahead of 10 minutes plus two additional laps of racing here at Circuit de Lanzard in DD2 and DD2 Masters revs rise, lights are on, lights are out. This time we get underway as the field quickly makes its way through in towards turn number two for the first time. Imke Arts has already gotten up into second position and is chasing after Nicola Guillaume. Looks like Sam Knopfius has uh, dropped down to fourth place. Christoph Adams has made his way into sixth overall from eighth on the grid and is now currently running, I think, P2 in the Masters classification as they go through the chicane for the first time. Very, very close indeed at the sharp end of this field as they head into the far part of the circuit. It is going to be Guillaume that leads after the opening lap. Second, Imke Arts, two tenths behind in P2. Van Vlimmeren as Knopfius looks for the dive bomb up the inside of the 5-5-2. And Vlimmeren runs a little bit wide, loses a position. That was to Axel Hoos uh, with the Combi Kart Racing team. And now the lead has changed in DD2 Masters. Ever the opportunist, Christoph Adams gets through on Bars van Vlimmeren. And now the top two have broken away. Oh, well, Nicola Guillaume has been bested by Imke Arts already this season. Could this happen again? Could lightning strike twice, so to speak? Well, Arts is not going to let this one go out of the final corner and is right with the race leader, 64 thousandths. And now Imke Arts goes for the race lead. It's side by side, wheel to wheel. Arts is through at turn two and takes the lead from Guillaume. Great work there by Imke Arts. And now Zem Knopfius makes it a three horse race for the battle for the race lead. Axel who's from the Combi Kart Racing Team, not too far behind either. So this could be a four way scrap that is quite literally going to set the fireworks alight. Christoph Adams is currently fifth. 
in the running order, but running in the DD2 Masters lead ahead of Bars Van Vlimmeren by about probably the best part of half a second, if that, or maybe even slightly more than that now. Van Vlimmeren runs a little bit wide. Well, Van Vlimmeren has now dropped behind. Yes, it's Barnes. Here comes the move for P2. Knopf is up the inside, can't get the job done on Guillaume. Loses a little bit of momentum, carry out of that turn two. Uh, Axel, who's now closing in for that third place. Well, I thought this might be a little bit of a firecracker in the making. And, well, Imkit Arts definitely proved that point very quickly. Got through for the race lead on lap number two. Uh, good afternoon to Luca, watching from Italy at the moment. But uh, Imkit Arts now trying to see if she can bridge a little bit of an advantage early in this race. And looks to do so. Lap three completed. Gap now nearly five and a half tenths of a second out of Nicola Guillaume. Zem Knopfi is trying to close on in on the run down to turn number two. Here on lap five. Uh, Rick van der Sart, who's dropped all the way down to 17th place uh, in the meantime, it looks like. Uh, has just put in the fastest lap of anybody. 45.034. That is nearly seven tenths quicker than the race leader. Yes, his barn's trying to go see if he can get past uh, Christoph Adams, but between Adams and uh, Van Vlimmeren is Spans at the moment as they come through out of turn number 13. And now the pace looks to be increasing once again. Six minutes plus two additional laps remaining in this DD2 and DD2 Masters pre-final. Adams holding on, using all his skill, all his experience, and all his, uh, all his knowledge that he's gained. A man who's dedicated his life to karting and continues to do so, even with some slight health scares over the past few months. As all well, yes, his spawns looking to try and see if he can get through. Yeah, I'm, I'm, there was a little bit of uh, bumper touching between Spawns and Adams. Front of Spawns on the back bumper of Adams on that particular occasion. But it is really, as now Sam Knopfius this time again goes through at turn two. Does he make the move stick? Well, in the meantime, Bas van Vlimmeren has taken the lead off of Christoph Adams in DD2 Masters. Sem Knopfius has got through for second. And now Axel Hoos is trying to battle away with Nicola Guillaume for P3. Hasn't got through and now has a fast charging. Yes, this one's not too far behind in the 418. This is really heating up at the sharp end, folks. Both in the latter part of the top five in DD2, but also at the sharp end of Masters. After this, we've got two more pre-finals to go, but MK Arts continues to lead after lap number seven. New fastest lap by the 421 of 44.766. And now that MK Arts has got clean air, she's going to do what she can. Yes, it's Barnes looking for the crossover on Axel Who's No room in the inn at turn number two for the 418, I'm afraid. However, they are still trying to close on in on Nicola Guillaume. Sam Knopfius is the one that's going to now start charging with just over four minutes plus change to go to close on in on Imkit Arts. The gap is 0.864 seconds. Last time round, Knopfius actually nearly matched Arts on pace. And a new fastest lap by the driver in second. 44.608 from Sem, uh, Sem Knopfius. Yes, it's Barnes still battling away with Axel, who's uh, trying to go through into turn three. This is the battle for fourth on the road. Brett Otters, in the meantime, has made his way up past Christoph Adams and is between Adams and Van Vlimmeren in the battle for the lead in Masters. Van Vlimmeren is also running with uh, yes it spawns as Axel Hoos is getting a lot of pressure from behind at the moment the 455 so all very very quick coming out of that turn 14 left hand kink onto the short start finish straight uh, well that's a dive bomb and a half there that's showing them how it's done Bas van Vlimmeren uh, yes it spawns is saying look 
stop overtaking me. Let's pick up the pace. I want to get past the driver in front at the very, very least. And, uh, well, there is, uh, there is a lot still to go in this race. Two and a half minutes might seem to certain people a little bit of an eternity. Then you add those two additional laps. These drivers, they are going away like nobody's business, but they have this, they have this innate skill to explain to the mechanics in the awning post-race, okay, this is what we need to change for the final. And at the minute, Imke Arts is doing exactly what she needs to do. Sam Knopfius, however, is closing that gap. It's now just over five and a half tenths. He put in the fastest lap of the race on lap 10, 44.427. So the gap last time round between Imke Arts and Sam Knopfius was 0.56. Now, it's 0.54. New fastest lap again by the driver in second, but I think ran a little bit wide uh, coming out of turn number one. Knopfius, 0.544 behind MK Arts, who has responded and put in a personal best of her own. Uh, 44.442. Guillaume, 44.447. Uh, Axel Hoos, 44.608. Van Vlimmeren, leading masters, 44.548. Christoph Adams in that last lap was the highest place driver that did not improve on lap time. Did a 44.947. His best tour was two laps ago, 44.860. But MKR still continues to consolidate that race lead. Uh, Knopias has got it down to four tenths. And as what more, I think maybe just put in another personal best of anybody 44.320 so as the laps are ticking away as is the timer Knopius is closing in on Imke Arts who's just running a race just has got the horse racing blinkers on as if to say right let's just focus let's just nail every apex nail every breaking point accelerate out of the corners progressively or not too eagerly so I don't spin the back axle around or you know unsettle the cart on the on the back two wheels Three laps to go, and Knopfius is closing in. That gap's now under three tenths, 0.268, as we head onto the next tour. Lap number 14, timer has expired. Two to go after this one, so lap 14 out of 16, very much underway. Oh, right, 554, Vim Rulo cops a three-second time penalty for braking formation with two wheels outside of the tram lines. But it is going to be just over two kilo, uh, around about 2.1 kilometers to go in this race over these next two laps. So Imkit Arts looks over the left shoulder. Knopiers within two tenths. Oh, we're now in the danger zone right about now because Imkit Arts has got to drive the wheels off of the Cart Republic chassis underneath her for the next lap and three quarters, through into turn number three. Knopje is waiting for that opportunity to present itself. It could be down into turn two on the final lap of this race. But Imke Arts started behind Nicola Guillaume, who put it on pole position. Sam Knopje would like to add another win to his tally this season here in 2024. But there is one lap remaining. Here come the leaders out of the final corner and that gap has slightly expanded. But it hasn't under braking. 0.176. When is Knopfius going to go for it? Imke Arts and Knopfius. Oh! Late on the brakes, drift sideways and that was the only opportunity feasible for Sem Knopfius to get through on Imke Arts. This has allowed Nicola Guillaume to close the gap. So what was nearly a two-tenth of a second advantage has become probably double that at the very least for the 421 of Imke Arts. The minute that Arts got through on Guillaume, early doors, got that lightning start. Well, it's paid dividends. Imke Arts wins the pre-final by just under four-tenths of a second ahead of Sem Knopje's 
Nicolas Guillaume, Axel, uh, Axel Hoos, and then Bars van Vlumeren takes the win in DD2 Masters. What a drive there for MKR. It's just literally lap one. Got the bit between his bit between the teeth and just went for it. And it paid off and takes the win. Bars van Vlumeren takes the win in DD2 Masters on this particular occasion. Yes, it spans up nine places from 15th on the grid to finish six. Well done to the 4182 at one point was nearly running as high as P3. Uh, Brett Otters, Christoph Adams, Mark van der Kamp and Niels Berler round out the top ten with Adams and Berler rounding out the top three in Masters. Rick van der Sart, Derek van Kaart, Dominic Ummels, Maurice Knopnius, uh, Wim Hulo, uh, Douglas Knoll and Ton van Veerts round out the finishing order for that one.